John, first thing, obviously, uh, 2009, I, I wouldn't say it's been a, a huge surprise, but it has to be somewhat surprising that the air show industry, despite the world around it, not only has persevered, but it seems to be, well, can we say thriving? Yeah, I think you can. Um, and it wasn't a, totally a surprise. We saw some things at the end of the 08 season as the economy really began to tank. Some of the October and November shows did very well. So we spent some time over the, over the winter thinking, well, is this an opportunity for us? The economic problems for the country have been horrible, but every even the darkest cloud has some kind of silver lining. And we thought that that might happen. The early returns in April, March, April, May were very strong. And we turned that into a national public relations program that did some good, but I don't want to undervalue the fact that it was just, it wasn't it wasn't spin, it was genuinely good news. We didn't say that there was increased attendance at all air shows. There was increased attendance at all air shows, and that's, that's great news for the industry. And I think, hopefully, uh, the start of a recovery for all of aviation. General aviation this year has not had a good time. We've gotten some awful press, but the air show industry just serves as this unimpeachable goodwill ambassador to the rest of the world about how exciting and professional aviation is. How might we be able to expand on that to maybe improve our lot across the entire spectrum of the industry? That's something we're going to be working on over the winter. We reach out to 10 or 12 million people a year. Those people vote and those people write letters to editors and we think that we can leverage all the good times and the support of aviation that they demonstrate by coming to air shows into something more substantive to support the entire GA community. It won't take a lot. We've seen this with other things that involve our spectators. A little nudge in the right direction and we can get that kind of support. And We're going to focus on that over the winter. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single-engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com. How do you evaluate your role at this point in keeping air shows and the profession safe and what changes are you seeing? Well, as you know, we committed ourselves to trying to change the culture of safety in the air show industry a couple of years ago at this convention. And one of the things that we've learned as we as an industry, as an association, learn about safety, we're learning how much we don't know. And so as recently as three or four years ago, I might have said that the work we've done had a big impact on safety, but I now know enough about safety, and we now know enough about safety to know that it's too early to tell. We've seen a pretty dramatic decrease in the number of fatal accidents in our business, and we're very happy about that, but it's too early to tell if that is a product of what we've been doing or if it is a, a statistical anomaly. What we do know is if we keep doing the kinds of things we, we're doing, like introducing safety management systems into the air show industry and making sure that safety concerns are top of mind awareness, not just for our pilots, but for our event organizer, our ground support personnel, that we will see the needle move in the way that we want. And then, of course, the challenge becomes in maintaining that focus over a long period of time. We had some naysayers who were concerned that it was going to be sort of a regulatory reaction to changing the culture of aerial safety. But what they've discovered is that there are things we can do that don't necessarily tie their hands or restrict their flexibility. And uh, it's it's been really a win-win all the way around. Our members have been extremely supportive and, and appreciative, really, of the initiative. And if we can maintain the kind of accident uh, rate that we've had over the last couple of years, at some point in the not-too-distant future, I'll be able to say, declare it, yes, a, a success. But we're not sure right now. Is there something we're not doing outside of the airshow industry that we should be doing to support you? Uh, well, I, I wouldn't say that. I, but I would say that when uh, a local or national airshow does well, aviation does well. And I think that there are those in the aviation community who don't see the link as clearly as we do within the airshow community. It is not uncommon for an airshow to struggle from a business perspective, even as they're providing excellent entertainment and a venue for people to discover aviation. So I guess I would say that uh, aviation organizations, aviation companies, suppliers, the general aviation community generally, if they've got the opportunity to help their local airshow, I would encourage them to do it 
it because it's not just a question of volunteer for, for a worthwhile cause. It's also volunteering for something that is a worthwhile cause that also has very positive impact on the general public's perception about aviation. When an FBO gets involved with the air show at their airport, they're doing things to help both their own business and the air show and the public's perception of aviation in a way that there really aren't very many tools to do that beyond air shows. And, uh, and, and as I said at the outset, I'd like to see our industry drive that so that we're, we're, we're promoting that a little more actively. If you own a Cirrus today or if you're considering the purchase of a new or used aircraft, consider this. Avidyne, in conjunction with the country's leading Cirrus sales and maintenance facilities, has launched the G3R9 program that combines the purchase of a late model, low time Cirrus aircraft and the addition of the Avidyne Integra Release 9 avionics suite for much less than you may have thought, and certainly much less than purchasing a brand new aircraft. G3R9, combining the best airframe, best engine, and best avionics for the best value. When you look back at 2009, what were the high points, what were the low points, what were the things that surprised you, uh, any particular lessons or anything that just really got your attention from the year? Yeah, well, though we did not have any uh, accidents um, at air shows, we did have some practice accidents, and, and any time you lose a friend and a member of the air show industry, that's a tragedy. What we learned from that, I think, is that um, Promoting and, and protecting safety simply at the air shows only gets at a part of the problem. If we're doing what we should be doing, we're practicing a lot. And those, those practices can be every bit as dangerous as air shows. So we want to focus on that as well. And we, we're taking a look at the causes behind those accidents and if there's anything we can do to mitigate that risk. Highlights really are pretty numerous. When we started hearing reports of shows with 30 and 40 percent more attendance than they've ever had, we knew that we were potentially going to have a big year. I think there is uh, undeserved but a long-standing reputation in our business that we're kind of aviation carnies and uh, nothing could be further from the truth. Our guys are true professionals. There has been some movement this year that would suggest that the media is starting to understand that and next year and, and the year after that is there's some really some breathtaking possibilities. There's a uh, feature length motion picture about air shows that's in the works. We've got the centennial of naval aviation celebration in 2011. 2010 will be the hundredth anniversary of air shows in North America and we think that all of that together is going to generate additional interest in air shows and, and really drive both attendance and media attention to our business and obviously that's just good. Along those lines, let's let's take out the ICAS crystal ball. Let's look at O10 coming up. Uh, what are the things that immediately enthuse you about the year that's coming up and what are the things that are on your concerned list? Well, if we are true to our commitment to safety, then we're always going to be concerned about accidents and safety issues. And so we want to, one of the things we want to make sure we do is not let that uh, slip off our, our radar screen, keep it at, at top of mind awareness. The opportunities are going to be an extension of some of the things we've done with the media, capitalize on things like the 100th anniversary of air shows in North America, and prepare for some of the opportunities that will be coming up with, the, as I said, the, the uh, movies and uh, greater internet access and, uh, and a whole bunch of things that are kind of popping their head above the surface just now and, and that will kind of uh, manifest themselves in the coming year. <laughs>